All right, fellas, we're about to head out tomorrow, and I don't feel like fooling around, so we're gonna get the Predator Blood Charm on it. So let's open it up. Aquatic Nutrition sent this to me to test out. They've reformulated it, so let's see what we can get. Sweet. That's how it comes in, some sort of aluminum or something. The super sauce. The bag. Oh, come on now. And that stuff. That's it. Might need some gloves for this one, fellas. This stuff is the, is almost a dry form of the liquid stuff we've been used in the past. It comes with this chin cloud, which is a product you can buy from them separately, actually. And I'm gonna have to go get my knife. Uh, instructions should be here on the bag somewhere. Um, yeah, mixing. Chum cloud to dry mix. Shake vigorously for at least one minute. Knead the bag until mixed is in a moldable consistency like hard clay and then moldable. Ten minute working time allows the product. Oh, wow. Ten minute working time. It used to be like, I don't know, like one or two minutes or something. For slow release, mold into one large ball allowing six to eight hours of fishing depending on waves and currents for fast release mold into small balls allowing the product to dissolve faster. Yeah, and there's oats in here and then there's that special solid form of that chum stuff and then there's the chum cloud which is uh, it's, a, it's an emulsified oil obviously. Gonna shake that bad boy up. Nice strong, uh, I like that yeah, so it won't break open on you. Kingfish, mackerel, snapper, grouper, cobia, bluefish, striped bass, sharks, bluegill, catfish, bass, anything else in the river that you want to catch. I bought this with my own money years ago, but then they sent this to me. And um, I didn't know quite how I wanted to use it, but now that I've refined my own systems, I know exactly how I want to use it now. Oh, come on now. I'm just going to have to do it this way. Just... Ah, that's what I didn't want to happen. Some of it's gotten dried up around the top part, so we're going to just reach in and just dump it in. And, uh, I hate that I spilt some of it. Now, you shouldn't have to put your hands on it like this, but I am because I want it to get... I'm used to working in a restaurant, and so I did. You can knead it from the inside and the out if you do it this way. Because some people, they don't knead it fast enough, and it ends up... Uh, and they, they don't have... They didn't, the old version just didn't have enough working time on it. So, advantage here. You can uh, get some more. See how much of that in there? You put that in there. Start and just keep going. Make sure you get the corners like that. Make sure you get those corners like that. Making sure everything gets... Smells a little like Oreo cookies. Not really, it just reminds me of Oreos. Craving Oreos, baby. Oh, we're making chum. <laughs> okay, so you don't have to get all dirty like that, but ideally you just knead the bag like this and kind of punch it in like that. Just be careful not to... Oh. Some there. All right, I'm gonna get some more here. All right. It's a 10 minute working time, so yeah, gives you plenty of working time because it used to go off in like a minute or two or something, man. If it, especially if it's hot outside, you know, it'd be like. Half the bag still ain't mixed up. <laughs> That's all it takes. It's just a...
and the oats in there will eventually like break off and things. I can feel it starting to harden just ever so slightly. It's becoming more of a dough. You know, this is a pretty good idea. Yeah, now we're getting it. Now that's what I remember. It's pretty cool out here today, only about 60 degrees or so. Like that or so, something like that. Can you see? So we may do some of that. I may make several small balls. I think we'll go ahead and do it the ball method. It's like this. Just so we have several balls of several sizes of several whatevers. And that way we don't have to put it all in one time. And I'll show you how I do this once we get on the river. Uh, we'll see, see that's like a big softball size, something like that. that in the bag and it comes with this bag see this bag like an onion mesh bag the last time I did this I just had one big ugly ball this time I'm going several smaller balls and I think what we'll do is we'll just put these balls back in and they'll just harden overnight or whatever and I think we'll start out tomorrow with maybe three smaller balls like that and you can put it back in the bag. The bag is not resealable, uh, I don't think, but no, it's not, but that's okay. But you can reuse it to stow your, your chum stuff. Sometimes you just don't have time to make chum. Anyway, there's that. Anyway, so for tomorrow, we'll put these little three balls down in here. See that? That's a four ounce lead weight that I had from 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 uh, a company that gave me some jugs to test out. So we're going to put that four ounce lead weight down in there. And that's going to help that get all the way down to the bottom of the river, where I often catch my blues, catfish, even striped bass are hanging out at the bottom of the river. I'm just trying to get every bit of that stuff up. I don't want to waste a drop of it because one, it ain't cheap, and two, I want to get the most you can out of it because. Uh, it was given to me and I believe when people give you something you ought to you ought to be thankful and, and use it in good faith. So this is my hand line, okay? And I bet if we were fishing for those Mekong catfish, say like in um, Vietnam, where they use that rice flour. They use rice flour that's a very similar to this, except it's rice bran or whatever. And they make balls like that and they have a gang pile of hooks around it and, and, and cast that out to catch these big old Mekong catfish that are, I guess the biggest ones, the big five and 600 pound ones are two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think you go eight, nine, ten. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. And you go back through and pull top like that. Okay. That should do it right there. And fellas, that will just get plumped plunk over the riverside, over the side, all the way down the bottom of the river. I have to tie this off, probably tie it off under the, we've already got it tied, so I guess we'll have to take all this in the house. And this will be thrown away, don't need it. And um, it's basically like an onion sack or whatever. Put that in there for now. I've used it in the past, but I didn't realize, I didn't know how I wanted to use it. Now I know exactly how I want to use it. Now that I've refined my own fishing systems and we'll see what that does. What looks better? That looks better maybe? I don't know. Gotta like, I don't know, something like that. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> 